Hey guys, it's your girl Fitzid, and I'm back with another video. So in this video, we are going to be talking about OnlyFans. This is the fourth video in my little OnlyFans videos, you know, so far that I have up. This will be the fourth one. So I have one all about the settings on OnlyFans and just questions that I've gotten. Then I have one about starting out. And then I have one that's just an overall main thing about OnlyFans. If you guys haven't seen any of them, you definitely should look them up. Main thing I want to bring up is if you guys haven't created your account and you guys want to, then I have a referral link which I'll put right here or in the description box. If you use it, please email me so that then you can get support from me, get to chat with other people under my referral that can help you and you guys can like help each other grow and uh, just be able to have that community. So with that being said, Hi, my name's Sydney. If you're new here, you've never seen a video, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm just making this video, in all honesty, to hopefully help some people out. I know that this is something that's a very highly coveted topic. I am not monetizing my videos right now, so like maybe eventually I will get re-monetized, but AdSense doesn't seem to like me, and yeah. So I don't make money off these videos. I'm just doing them out of the kindness of my heart. If you do enjoy them, uh, you can send me an email or a comment or just give it a like, you know, I really appreciate it. You can always follow me on my socials I have Instagram I have snapchat I have Twitter Twitter is probably the place where you can get the most inspiration from OnlyFans and um, the other videos welcome to the fit fam and let's just get started this is all about OnlyFans and finances so if you guys are new and you're a newbie like I was I started back November 2018 I had never done my own taxes I did not know anything about legal or business so this is toasty and toasty so cute oh my gosh you little fluffer nugget oh um, but anyways, that's my dog Toasty. If you hear him panting, just ignore it. He's just so cute and I don't know why he's panting, honestly. <sighs> But anyways, with OnlyFans, if you guys are curious, I do have a Twitter that does post some previews, so you can kind of see the kind of content that I personally post on mine. If you want to follow me on my socials, they're here. Without further ado, I say that a lot. Let's, every time you hear it in this series, just take a water shot. With that being said, which is another game we can play, um... <laughs> This is all about finances. I definitely didn't know anything going into it and I think that this is probably the most important piece because if you're trying to make money, you need to know how to, number one, deal with the money and do it right so you're not gonna get shut down later on or have problems. First thing I wanna say before I answer the actual questions that are asked, this is something that I've done a lot of research on because I was so scared that I wasn't gonna know how to deal with the money and I didn't even know how much I was gonna make on there so a lot of people aren't prepared. Like you don't know how to file taxes. Usually you're starting in a W-2 job and then you're in this 1099 and it's just a mess. So biggest thing is when you create your account, you have to fill out those things before you can even withdraw your money or even set a subscription price. So when you sign up, you submit your IDs, you submit your W-9, which is how you get your 1099. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure it is signed and up to date all year. So if you move, make sure that when you move, you update that as soon as possible. Make sure that if you are incorporated, you use your EIN number, otherwise use your social on the W-9. So if you are incorporated and you want those business benefits um biggest thing i would say is make sure you incorporate yourself and change so like if you start with your social security number on there and then you get a company put your ein number switch it because that will really help when you get your 1099 later on for tax purposes and for write-offs because you as a person get different write-offs than you as a company just for reference even though you're contracted you could have a company and you could do it that way um these aren't questions that i've had just because i feel like people don't know what questions to ask so i'm just answering some things that really helped me out when I first started. Make sure your stuff's up to date, like I said before. Make sure that you are withdrawing. Personally, for me, I withdraw on a weekly basis. I don't do it just sporadically because I do really like to track how much money I make a month, how much I make weekly, and it always withdraws like on the same day. So it's a very consistent way to check, okay, like in 2018, I made a lot more than I make now. Honestly, now the amount that I make has gone, it was like this. So it's nice to be able to like track, am I making less this month or how much maybe did I make more when I like worked, a, you know, a certain amount of hours because I work about 80 hours a week on OnlyFans. So it's really important that if you're trying to make this a full time thing that you do it properly and that you check and maybe don't obsess over the money or the numbers because I can't do that. Like I can't check every day, but just be aware of what you're doing. And then everything that you make set 40% aside because that 40%, you may not get taxed at that 40% bracket, but when you are getting taxed you have to pay it you don't want the irs coming after you so put 40 percent aside some of it can be for emergency but plan it for taxes that way when you pay it off and you have a little extra 
Moola, you're gonna be happy about it. I just put it into my savings account and that's how I do it. It's probably the most helpful thing to do because then you don't spend money you don't have. Now on to the questions. Where do you find your W-2 for OnlyFans? So, just so you know, you are a 1099 contracted employee. Through OnlyFans, you are not a W-2, you are not a normal employee, you are a contracted one. So that means that you're gonna be getting a form around January, and the deadline to get that form is January 31st for them to like send it out. So if you hadn't gotten it by then, you probably didn't fill out or update the paperwork, or they up and you have to email them at their support to get it. If you didn't update it when they did in the beginning of like January, then sometimes they don't send it out. I know that that's terrible to say, but like if your stuff's not up to date and you didn't confirm it, then you could have a problem. You would be getting a 1099 form. You would be filling out a W-9. If you don't have a company, you put your social on it. If you do, you put your EIN number. How long does it take payment to process? So I know for me, there's current balance and then there's available balance, I'm pretty sure. And this is for any OnlyFans account. So what you would do is you go to OnlyFans.com and then you would go to your slash my slash statements slash earnings. When you do that, it will have your percentage at the very top. So it says you are in the top blank percent of all creators. Then it says current balance. Then it says pending balance. And then mine set to weekly payouts. That way, as long as it's over $20, I get weekly payouts scheduled. That way I don't have to manually go in and, you know, do it myself. And as long as it's over $20, you can do that weekly payout. So if you're making even $80 a month, you can cash out every month at that $20. So the difference between pending and current. So currently is what avail is available to you right now. So if you were to cash out on your current balance, that takes three to five business days. And then it tells you when it's been processed. So you can always like look and it'll say payout has been processed. The pending balance, which is always in like the gray, that is where it takes seven days for it to go into the current available money. If you're tight on cash it's gonna take seven days for the new money that you've made on there to come through so if you're like looking and maybe one day you got like a really big tip you can't cash that out for seven days at least and then you might not get it for three to five that's one of the biggest things that you have to understand like if you're freaking out on like the money does OnlyFans tell you when it's time to pay your taxes and how to file them each year? No, OnlyFans does not tell you how to do that. And I think that that's something that a lot of companies do struggle with is like, I feel like they should have like a little like easy blurb about it, but they do expect you to know how to do it. That's something that like college doesn't teach you. Um, high school never taught you, but you kind of have to learn that on your own. And the biggest thing that I would say is hiring someone or going to like H&R Block or just doing some research on your own. I know that that's really helped me understand what I do now because if I didn't do that on my own I wouldn't understand it now biggest thing I would say when it comes to filing is knowing the deadlines and the dates with filing and stuff the deadline is January 31st usually uh, to get the 1099 form sent out my dad actually helped me with my taxes through like TurboTax <laughs> I didn't do it myself you know like they have those programs and usually someone in your family can help you with it or you can hire someone depending on how much you're making biggest thing I would say is like check the deadlines make sure and then make sure your stuff's always up to date next is how do you get paid what about the IRS and how are they involved so you get paid with the withdrawals it takes seven days for the money that you made like if you got a tip that day it would take on the first to the eighth. then three to five days for it to hit your bank account so in total I would always say like take 12 days to just get the money the IRS how are they involved the IRS needs to take your money because you made money and you need to claim it so if you're scared about claiming it do it it's a lot safer to claim it than not to if you make I think under 600 as a contract employee you do not have to claim it but I think always should like I've always claimed everything that I've made next question do people get their money back if they unsubscribe before the full month is up no they do not I know that I've heard something about like blocking if you if they get blocked they get refunded so I'm pretty sure if you block someone you get refunded but if someone unsubscribes then I do not think that they like they get refunded it could take seven days I'm not 100% sure on that but it says for the full month is up I think you're fine because usually when someone unsubscribes it's for the next month last question is I've made a couple hundred bucks on here but my withdrawal button is gray and will not work what do I need to do first check to make sure your IDs are up and good second you need to make sure that all your documents like your w9 is fully up to date and maybe just resubmit it um and then the last thing is to make sure that your bank account information is up to date and right because if it's not there you definitely are over the $20 pay limit so you should be able to get the money but if you don't have your bank account info in there correctly with your account number routed 
routing number because make sure that routing number is at least for my bank we have two different routing numbers so you can either have electronic and paper or wires the only time you use wires is for wire transfers so make sure you're using the electronic and paper routing number which is also usually on your checkbook if you have a checkbook but you can easily find that in your online banking app to refill it out and make sure that your name's spelled right just check all the little things and then if worse comes to worse email only fans support but that's all I can say for that make sure that your IDs are up to date and make sure just that those things work with that being said that's the end of this video I hope that helps with finances I try really hard to like explain those things but it's sometimes hard because everyone's circumstances are different but the basics of finances are always the same the IRS doesn't bend rules for anyone so make sure that you're saving your money make sure that you're paying if you have a business and you can pay those quarterly taxes do it you will get penalized otherwise I know that for myself <laughs> I did not know you had to pay quarterly taxes, at least for myself. So the first year I didn't pay quarterly taxes and you like basically just you mail a check in every quarter when you have a company, at least the way that mine's set up, I guess. And when you do that, it like takes away some fees that you get later. I was obviously charged fees because I wasn't paying them on time for taxes. This year I actually am doing it. So hopefully I don't have a lot of fees because you just live and learn. And it's something that hopefully I can say this and save you if you don't have someone that's telling you these things because I didn't. Then someone randomly said, have you have you been paying them? And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Just a little help that you can have because it is still early enough in the year that maybe you can save yourself and not have those problems. With that being said, um, that's all for this video. If you guys are new and you haven't made your OnlyFans account or you want to switch over to my referral community, you can just put it this in to your browser or click the link down below, then create your new account, set it all up, and then send me an email with your OnlyFans link. Then we'll just go from there. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow Follow me on all my socials, look at my Twitter, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye, babes. <laughs>